What is the difference between recording MIDI and recording audio? I get a lot of questions and I did a video during the week this week about uh, recording your keyboard sound. So I, I plugged my digital piano into my iPad and I recorded that, uh, the actual sound from the keyboard. And a lot of folks get confused and I was definitely one of them when I first started recording, which is what is the difference between recording MIDI and recording audio? And it's, it's, they're actually very different and the, the difference is quite simple. So here it is. If you're recording audio, you are sending the analog signal. So let's pretend, well, because I actually did it, you plug the headphone jack out of your keyboard and then you plug that into your interface and then you record that in your digital audio workstation. So whatever is playing on the keyboard, the synth, whatever instrument it is, that is being picked up and recorded as an analog waveform on your device or on your digital audio workstation. MIDI does something different. So when you've got MIDI, what that's doing is it's actually triggering the notes. So you're not, there's, it's not actually sending any audio. It's not sending any analog audio. It is sending ones and zeros. It's sending a digital signal. And that digital signal is just saying, you're playing a C at this level of velocity. It then sends that to your digital audio workstation. And that then triggers whatever virtual instrument you've got selected to play a C at that specific volume. So that's all it is. You're not sending any audio. You're only sending data when you're sending MIDI. When you're sending audio, it's over an audio cable and it's going to record that. What's better really depends on what you want to do. Sometimes you want the original sound from your keyboard. You've got like an old Yamaha, you know, an old synth that you want to get the sound from, then you need to plug it straight in. If you don't care about that, you just want to use whatever virtual instruments are in GarageBand or Cubasis or Pro Tools or whatever you're using, then you can actually use MIDI and get the sound that you want.